I was casually scrolling down YouTube drinking my morning cup of coffee when suddenly a wild hunt showdown video appeared. I didn't read the title because I'm a simple man. If I see a hunt showdown video, I'm clicking on that. Turns out Crytek just dropped another banger update and it's about the new user interface for the future of hunt showdown. Let's go ahead and take an in-depth mm -hmm. look at it. So if we look at the top here, they've got it divided into four main sections. We've got the home, hunters, gear, and store tabs. Let's go ahead and look at the home tab. It's also going to be divided into four different sections. You can look on the top left here. The first one is play. The second one is last mission. Third one is store, and the fourth is progression. So in the play tab, they have bounty hunt, soul survivor, shooting range, and the tutorial, and possibly more to the right. Last mission contains statistic team D details and summary. The store has blood bond packs. And finally, progression has bloodline, weekly challenges, and it says zero out of 42, which means there possibly is going to be 42 weekly challenges to do. And it will give you a timer on when it will reset dark tribute, which also has a timer and then the weapon progression and possibly more to the right. Alright, so it looks like after you choose a game mode in the main menu, this lobby screen comes up where you've got the gameplay options on the left here. It shows the standard contract and it shows the solo bonus XP that you would get if you went in solo. On the right, we've got Dark Tribute. You'll be able to see it right there at the home screen in the lobby. And your weekly challenges are also going to be on the main lobby screen just like before. We've got a few new challenges. We've got Visit 20 Compounds is going to be a new weekly challenge land shots on an enemy hunter using pistols six shots that's a new challenge collect clues or close rifts so i'm guessing you're gonna get bigger reward for these because they are a lot take a little bit longer to do they might pay out a little bit more that's pretty cool top left looks normal maybe like some color changes top right looks like socials and lobby and settings in the hunters tab we've got all hunters and we've got free hunters let's look at what free hunters looks like it looks like you're gonna have four free hunters to choose from this account they're playing on has over nine thousand hunt dollars so you'll have four free hunters it looks like the loadout's gonna be about the same just maybe one less consumable than usual than on a normal free hunter so this is where all of your hunters are gonna be not even just like the legendary skinned ones you've even got like the free ones and like the tier ones and different skins and all that that's pretty cool i believe in the video they did say that if you did certain challenges or like reach a certain prestige you'd be able to unlock certain skinned hunters that act like legendary hunters i believe that's what i got from it but it looks like you'll be able to choose one of the default skins as like a legendary hunter and it comes with three randomized traits that's awesome i know a lot of people were asking for that also i would like to mention that this grid layout that they have going on where you can see a bunch of these hunters all at the same time is very useful and very efficient make it a lot easier to try to find what you're looking for here we have the active roster screen so you can either choose to look at it through that first original preview that we saw or you can switch to the grid view if you would like uh, it looks like on the bottom left it tells you uh, which key you need to press to switch views that is pretty cool you'll be able to have the option to see it like that or have it as a more immersive view option if we take a look they've got numbers on the bottom left and bottom right of each square indicating how much trait points you have the number on the bottom right is going to be what rank that hunter is and if you look here on the top left on this first image you'll be able to see these two icons the bottom icon leads you to where you can recruit hunters this top icon is your active roster icon so you would be able to switch between recruiting and your active roster just by clicking on that left icon moving on to the gear tab this is where all of your weapons and consumables will be it looks like it's categorized by all large weapons all medium weapons and then all small weapons and moving on to melee that's going to be the tool section and then the consumable section is going to be on the very bottom and it looks like even those categories have categories there we got categories on deck baby all right we're gonna go ahead and look at how the weapon layout looks so we've got the guns here obviously they're gonna be all categorized just like how they were but instead of having one big column to scroll through we now have three columns of weapons or i guess rows is it rows or columns i don't know man i it's been a minute since i went to school that's a new welcome change because i hated trying to scroll through the entire fucking catalog of guns on that one little row or column 
them or whatever. I want to say both. So it's a win-win. And finally, we have the traits screen. You'll be able to see all of these different categories and all of these different traits all at the same time with this grid layout. Again, I absolutely love this grid layout that they went with. You can see everything. You won't have to scroll a million miles down the screen just to find one trait and then go all the way back up and get that one. And then you're like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch the category so they're a little bit closer together. And then, but yeah, no, you can, you guys can see there's more categories to sort through right under that picture, under the trait in between in the very middle of the screen. There's a lot of different categories and it looks like you can actually favorite traits and have them sorted by favorites so you don't have to look at the other traits that you don't like and that you don't run. That is awesome. I'm so excited for this. Here's a look at the hunter details page. This is where you can see your loadout and your health bars and your traits and you can use the action menu and you can edit the hunter at this screen. I'm not sure there's gonna it looks like there's gonna be multiple ways to edit your hunter and multiple ways to get your equipment. It all looks like it's gonna be quicker so. Oh and here's the new prestige page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to go over this UI with you guys in depth. Let me know if you guys are excited as I am, because I'm definitely ready. Anyways, have a great day. Peace.